Hey Internet, Cody here. Uh, I just wanted to show you a quick thing I learned, a uh, package called Pinya. Um, as you start getting into your applications, your view apps, a uh, global store is very, very helpful to share data, share state, and dynamically interact with it in a way that creates a wonderful experience. So here's Pinya. Uh, they claim they're the view store that you'll enjoy using. Um, some of you might be wondering, why Pinya? Um, view X already exists. And there's actually a what is Pinya, they talk about it pretty extensively, and compare it to Vuex. Um, turns out the creator of Vuex is also, the, crea the creator of Pinya also is on the core team of Vuex. Uh, and Pinya is, supposed, is a proposal for what the future of Vuex could be. Um, so right now it's Pinya, eventually it might be merged into Vuex. But I wanted to just kind of see what the latest and greatest is, so I decided to use it. Um, so today I'm just going to show you how to get it into our Electron app. So, like every package, you're going to have to install it. Just throw an npm install. Um, and then here it just shows you want to pass it to your main uh, view app. So I'm going to just go ahead and go over to the code here where I've already done a lot of this. So I've npm installed it, as you can see my dependencies. And then here my create app, I actually import create pinya and then I say use Pinya, and then I mount it. Uh, and that's it. Now we have a store. Uh, in here, my directory structure, um, I created a stores directory. And here I'm just calling it my main store. Um, as you know, my application becomes more extensive, I'm going to obviously like decouple this a bit more and have stores specific to what I'm working on. But right now, I figured main stores is just fine. Um, here I, I import define store and accept HMR update. I'll, I'll show you why the second um, parameter is here. Um, here I'm defining my store, main store. I'm defining store, I'm calling it main. Uh, and then here it's very similar to other, um, you know, state handlers. We have our main state. Um, here's my base state. I just have a message variable. Here are my getters and then in actions. Actions can be asynchronous or just like proper mutations. They've kind of merged both actions and mutations into one field now, which is kind of handy. And then here, this is where we're using accept HMR. So whenever I change the state, I want to be able to see that state change instantly within my application. I don't want to have to rebuild and then display my app every time I'm making a change. So it has if import.meta.hot, then we, we place this in. The key here is just you're going to put this const variable, main store, as the first parameter. They, they go into this further in their cookbook documentation, hot module replacement. Um, and so I'll, I'll, I'll add that into the description. Now we have our state, we have our getters, and I'm just going to show how this works. Um, here in my hello component, I import my main store and then I use my main store into a main variable and return it to my template. And now add main.message. So our message component, the expectation is hello world. So let's see what it looks like. Now we have hello world. And now I want to show you what happens, uh, the HMR. And so now we have hello world. And let's just add some more estimation points. And when I save, ta-da, HMR. Save back. Let's just add some crazy stuff. So that's pretty neat. Um, and yeah, that's how you have store. You have state. Um, hope you enjoyed. Hope this brought value to you. And yeah, have a great day.